Watch you guys got another video on get ready for Windows 11 25H2. Now, Microsoft have made a post on their website about getting ready for Windows 11 version 25H2 and how the experience of installing it should be a lot easier than what it was when we had Windows 11 24H2. So Microsoft explain everything in this post here about getting ready for 25H2 and moving from 24H2 to 25H2 and older versions of Windows 11 to 25H2. Now Microsoft talk about the 25H2 installation package being a lot smaller than previous versions like 24H2. Now Microsoft explained that during the Windows 11 24H2 installation, Microsoft performed what we call a OS swap. This completely replacing all of the system files even the ones that didn't need updating. That resulted in a larger uh, Windows update package file uh, that took longer to install. Uh, so Windows 25 H2 should be just a simple case of replacing only the files that it needs to upgrade to 25 H2 rather than doing it the older way of 24 H2. Of course, this caused major problems for Windows 11 24H2. So hopefully when we go to install uh, Windows 11 25H2 onto our system, the process should be a lot simpler and a lot less problematic like 24H2 was. Now, the only difference between versions is the set of features that are turned on in the newer version. You can see right here that going from 23H2 or 22H2 to 25H2 will be a problem. So you need to make sure your system is fully updated to 24H2 and the rollout and move into 24H2 to 25H2 should be very simple. So Microsoft are now applying the same technology used in regular Windows updates to 25H2 update, uh, though the process will be called something different. It's now gonna be called feature updates via servicing. So that's what they're going to be doing. And the new annual update is designed to install with just a single restart. So things should be a lot more smoother and a lot more easier to get this update onto the system without causing major problems. So if you're on 24H2, installing 25H2 should be as simple as clicking on the update button because the source code is exactly the same. So Microsoft say with one restart, the update should go in flawlessly. Now, hopefully Microsoft have learned a few lessons from 24H2 because that was a complete nightmare. From the get-go, 24H2 was plagued by a series of bugs and glitches and other issues, and it was a major problem for a lot of people. And what made it worse was Microsoft were trying to fix one set of problems and this normally led to a bunch of whole new set of problems, which caused a lot more issues with a lot of PCs and a lot of people. And this is why people refuse to install the 24H2 update. So all you've got to do now is sit back and wait. Microsoft will roll this out in stages and hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, we won't have any major issues with 25H2 like we had with 24H2. Let's hope that we have a much more stable and reliable version of Windows this time around, uh, even though uh, Microsoft are adding some new features to 25H2. Hopefully this doesn't break the system and we have major problems and hopefully uh, this will be the end of the troubled few months that Microsoft have had with 24H2 and we can move on and put this behind us and hopefully we can get to some sort of stable operating system. 23H2 was pretty stable after they fixed a few bugs but 24H2 was so problematic for a lot of people and I think people just wanted to skip it unfortunately you're going to have to update to 24H2 to be able to get 25H2 so when are we going to be getting the new 25H2 build well you can expect to get this sometime uh, later on in the year and that should be here and you should be able to roll this out pretty smoothly onto the system I say that with my fingers crossed because hoping that we have no issues with 25H2. I think a lot of people have lost a little bit of faith in Microsoft at the moment and hopefully 25H2 goes smoothly and uh, we can then move on because I do believe that Windows 11 does have potential of being a pretty decent operating system. It's very secure uh, and when it is stable, it is a pretty decent OS. 
Uh, yes, you've got a lot of the other stuff you have to go through, like recall and all the other stuff like Copilot and all your settings you have to turn off and, and things like that. And we do have a pretty crappy uh, start menu, but that is what it is. I mean, no operating system's perfect. And there's also going to be people that have had no issues with Windows 11 24H2 at all. And they're going to be in the comments saying that as well. And what they do need to realize is there's billions of computers using Windows 11. And that means there's tons of different hardware configurations and there could be different problems for different computers. Doesn't mean there wasn't any issues at all. And even when I show the known issues page from Microsoft, they would still claim that it's all made up and I'm just clickbaiting titles and the evidence is right there on Microsoft's website. But hey, can't please everyone. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. The link is in the video description. Bye for now.